we get a lot of love. We get a lot of supportive messages. We get a lot of questions. We get a lot of participation in the show, but we also get a lot of vitriol, a lot of venom, a lot of hatred, a lot of uh, disparaging nonsense. Mm -hmm. And that is where we're going to enter with a voicemail that we received a week or two ago, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing my... Uh, what will now, I guess, be known as my gay sweater. Well, don't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> don't give it away. For this occasion. But I want to say, I tell you what, we'll just, let's play, I've teased it enough, let's play the voicemail, and then we'll talk about this Nick Fuentes Nazi supporter a after we play the voicemail. I want to say one thing. All right. It's pretty vicious, so. All right. I, I just want people to be aware that you're kind of stepping into territory that's very familiar to us. Yeah, bigot zone. That we laugh about and we think is funny, but there's some people that may listen to this and feel very protective over us, and it might like be upsetting. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, I want to warn you because we do s s like have people in our life listen to this, and- if People you, get it furious, yeah, enraged. Yeah, and so yeah. just be aware that we think it's funny. That's why we're playing it, and we're going to have some fun with I it. I mean, I think this guy's an asshole, but yes. it's funny. Well, we're going to get to that, yes. Yeah. Yo, Jesse, one dollop more daily. How the hot dogs there, Chief? I'm watching uh, Ron DeSantis attacks black voters as Nazis march in Florida streets. So I'm just, it's, it's part of this I Doubt the podcast. Um, got a few, few problems with you. Uh, one... Still, big question, how many hot dogs per day do you eat? I would like to get my own sort of like retard slave that I can pay in hot dogs. Do they boil them for you? Do they grill them? Or do you just take them out of the package? And about how many per day? I, I'm really worried about that expense. Anyway, um, I got a few critiques. First up, your uh, your little sweater, whatever that is, it's gay. Let's take it off for next episode, okay? There she. Also, I see now that there's a woman... Uh, some bitch you got on the show. Who is this? Who is this bitch? Uh, what's her name? You got her name up. One second. I'm, I'm scrolling through the video to get her name up. Doesn't say her name here. Um, Brittany Page. Fuck me, dude. Brittany, turn that bitch off. Get that bitch off the show, all right? Her voice is so annoying, and she makes you sound more annoying. Like, you're feeding off of her female bitchy energy, right? And you're just getting gayer, and you're sounding more feminine, dude. All right, so I don't know what's going on. If it's, they're, they're taking your hot dog supply, filling it up with estrogen or something, but you're sounding way gay or way more feminine than I've ever heard you before, okay? Um, and it's not doing well, all right? I feel like I'm not alone. 37,000 views, that's not, that's not your usual numbers, dude. And she's ugly, okay? So we're getting a lot of problems with this girl. All right, Brittany is supposed to be a hot girl name. Usually women who are named Britney are pretty hot. Britney Spears. Um, I'm sure there's other Britneys, okay? <laughs> but listen, it's not, not a good look. All right, we can't have you on the show with ugly bitches. How am I supposed to jerk off? <laughs> you know, like, uh, she's just too ugly. She annoys me. I don't like it. My dick is shriveling up oh. as I'm listening to this bitch. I don't like her voice. I don't like how she makes you act. Um... Let's get rid of this bitch, all right? I'll watch the rest of the show. If I got any more comments, I'll give you another ring there, bud. All right, but thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, just leaving my live critique. Uh, I'll give you a call back if I got any more thoughts, all right? Love you. Bye. There's a lot. <laughs> Do you want to start with the views? Because I think that's the thing that really... <laughs> well, I don't remember... Really, in, uh, really inaccurate. Which, well, I know in the moment, because when people look at a YouTube video, they see... They see whatever the view count is, and that's not real. That's not live. Like like my in the back end, I can see what the actual view count is. And he was like a hundred thousand views <laughs> off. Maybe that is the most offensive thing here. Is that the dipshit thinks that the twenty seven thousand views? I mean, I've got almost a quarter billion views on my channel. Come on, man. Yeah, and I mean, the podcast does get fewer views on YouTube because yeah. it's different. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. what your audience is used to. <laughs> not that we need to defend ourselves in the views that we that we get, but do you want to start or do you want yeah, me to start? Because yeah. I have a few thoughts. Let me start. He really talked more about you than he did me, but let's let's start with the 
the intellectual lack of acuity that this individual has to to immediately go to one dollar more like that's it that's where you i mean i'm very shocked he didn't mention that i have red hair oh i didn't even register there there was a play on your name yeah a oh. joke about the name interesting like, hilarious yeah. like wow how clever and witty and amazing <laughs> it is it is it is funny to me that th this type of jackhole uh does hone in on the thing that i fucking hate the most which is being called chief and bud oh yeah like, even in public situations or big guy all of that i ugh, fucking hate that yeah which now i'm giving ammunition to to dumbasses but it, it is it's this type of jerk off who goes to, hey, all right, chief, hey, I'm doing my best Boston guy impression, or whatever yeah. stupid accent he's putting on yeah, there. Yeah, like a weak Bill Burr impression, I and think. And also to call me that I have a feminine voice or a feminine energy while he talks like he's a nine-year-old boy. Like that's, it's projection for sure. And then also, I guess, like I don't know if it's like a homoerotic thing with the hot dogs or, <laughs> or if he... Is like it's a fat guy joke because I live with myself. I know what I look like. Calling me a fat guy, I call myself fat to make people uncomfortable at parties and shit all the time. Mm -hmm. That's not hurting me. Yeah, it's just a lot of bold nonsense. That mm -hmm. really, I don't really make. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But it's I don't funny. think he's trying to make it make sense to me. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to be. Like, is his intention to, we can talk about this after you, we'll answer this question after you talk about your end of this, but is his intention to actually hurt my slash our feelings and make us like, uh, look in the mirror and be like, uh, that one dipshit doesn't like me. What will I do with my life? No, I think that definitely is the case. Um, but I guess, unfortunately for him, I'll just say there's very few benefits to being raised the way that I was raised, very rough and tumble. Yeah. And so when I recognize a benefit, I really latch on and I <laughs> savor it. And one of the benefits is that there's just very little that can be said to surprise or offend me at yeah. this point. I mean, I think that men particularly think that like really reinforcing bitch mm -hmm. and landing with a hard itch at yeah, the end, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Really putting some stank on it. Is going to be particularly offensive, but I mean, that's just like a Tuesday in the Page household, so <laughs> I'm not I'm not too worried about it. That, that was name calling that was done to you on the way to church during <laughs> during your, your, your formative years. But also, <laughs> men seem to believe that like the worst thing you can say to a woman is that she's unattractive. Yeah, yeah. And that's certainly not the worst thing that you can say to me. I mean, it might be like that I'm not funny or something is really what's going to hurt my feelings. But even then, I'll be able to tell myself and reassure myself that, you know, you just you like are a Jeff Dunham fan or something. And I'm, I'm not for you, you know. <laughs> um, well, I think this guy, I mean, he's very focused on his shriveled, you know, I I insignificant penis. He wants to talk about that a lot. It's, it's all shriveled up. How am I going to jerk off boo, with the hot dog talk? I know it's kind of I mean this is this was a first for me that someone felt the need to call in and be like get this bitch off the show I didn't jizz as soon as I saw her I mean I don't well I can't help we can't help it uh, anonymous <laughs> caller if you aren't attracted to whatever that's not our that's not our deal and also this isn't a cam show we're not here to titillate and sexually attract you <laughs> Even though it seems that's really what you're after in all, all all the content you consume. Yeah. So when I really think about it, though, and I think this is kind of the, the point of the call for me, is that we can uh, search this number and look back at when this person started calling. Yeah. And it was actually January of this year. Mm -hmm. So in case you haven't kept up, we're almost to October. It's been 10 months of this person calling listening to your content, watching YouTube videos. Yeah, it's been a lot of time. Speaking directly to things that you've been talking about in those videos. And so how many hours has this guy spent thinking about you? How many hours has this guy spent thinking about me? Mm -hmm. 
and your YouTube channel and how many views you're getting and how many views you're getting on average and how this video is underperforming compared to other videos that you've put up. I mean, this guy is spending a lot of time yeah. consuming your content. And then juxtaposing that time against what state his penis is in, talking about phallic foods ad nauseum and how often I'm eating these phallic foods. Yeah, so I just I think it's I think it's sad if we want to drill down on this. Yeah. Like it's kind of sad for this person that they are spending so much time just marinating in hatred. And well, it's anger also just a sad character. Sad about his station in life, sad about his level of intelligence or lack thereof, sad that we are far more successful than he will ever ever attain. I mean, it's a lot of that. We should have put the new drop on the board, <laughs> which I don't think we did. And uh, it, here, we'll, we'll use the old one. It has new music that won't get us banned on YouTube. I don't know what the word is. The views and opinions of Jesse Dolamore are solely those of Jesse Dolamore and do not reflect the views and opinions of Brittany Page, who is a far superior person and much more measured and reasonable in her views and analysis. Because I'm, I'm trying to make a very different point than you're trying to make. Yeah, yeah, and so I get you it, keep it. you keep inserting something else into what I'm trying to say that I'm not actually trying to say. So just as long as we know that we're handling this in different ways and I'm responding in a different yeah. way than you're responding. Well, listen, it's these characters who... It always amuses me because uh, Jesse Dollimore from 10 years ago would have... Bring yourself, bring your body... And let's see you say this shit to my face. I'm beyond that. I'm I'm uh I'm evolved now. You know what I mean? I wouldn't challenge this person to a physical fight for fear of, you know, some kind of a, uh, elongated prison sentence after I render him, you know, incapacitated and hospitalized. That was 10 years ago. That's not me now. Yeah, so I just kind of want to reiterate. I think I think about those questions about how much time this person is spending and and that's that's the way that I approach this. And this kind of goes back to the intro we had two or three episodes ago when people said how do you handle stuff like this? Because yeah, yeah. this call is not abnormal. This call is normal in terms of the hatred that we get. Yeah, yeah. This is stuff we hear all the time. For sure. And so it I think just reminds me that this person's in a lot of pain. And it helps me feel for that person. And I hope that this person, I don't know their name, that they find their way to something fulfilling and worthwhile and something that allows them to stop marinating in hatred and fear. But it is nice because you're being called <laughs> ugly and a bitch and gay sweater, you know, all these hateful things. Mm -hmm. You have to laugh about it and so one of the things that we do is we have friends who are like hey did you get any good hateful voicemails lately <laughs> and we like to play them for our friends and this call in particular really struck a nerve with friend of the show team ian that's right and team ian picked up on some themes in the call that he felt were rather important to drill down on and so ian decided to call the voicemail line and leave a voicemail kind of in response yeah. i think he's asking some questions he I, wants some clarification i don't know if this is a parody of the call or just his response to the call it's some amalgamation of the two yeah Yo, Jesse, it's your friend Ian. Uh, we gotta talk, buddy. Uh, I, I, I just saw I saw your latest video, only thirty-seven thousand views, and I gotta say, man, you're, you're looking kind of gay. Putting out some gay energy in the world. Let's start first with that sweater. It's <laughs> not doing you any favors. As a as a heterosexual man, you know what we love. We love hot women and talking about men's sartorial choices. That's just what that's just what bros do. And also, what's what's the hot dog situation like going on? And I'm I'm saying hot dog because it's a funny thing and not because it uh it you know looks like anything else. But it's not like I enjoy the feelings of hot dogs in my mouth. It's not like you know, I have the hot dog and I kind of let my mind drift and then I think of a world where I, I allow myself to live the life that I had never allowed and what it would be like to actually sort of be free and to, to have 
uh, experiences and things in my mouth like I want to have in my mouth. And then, yeah, obviously, like all dudes, like 47 minutes later, I wake up, I have no idea where I've been, and I have a huge erection. Speaking of erections, got to get this Britney bitch off the show. <laughs> she is killing my boner, which I got to say, when I see you, bro, it is massive. It is pulsing because, like, uh, because I'm thinking about chicks, right? That's it. That's what, I mean. That's what I mean. I'm thinking about chicks, and I'm thinking how cool it would be to hang out with my bros like you, and we're, like, double-teaming chicks, and, like, you're there, and I'm there, and, like, we catch each other in the eye as we're doing it, and then, again, we, like, oh, no, that's not what I mean. I mean, I mean, like, it's just, like, I like, I like women, but not Britney specifically, and it's making you gay. You're the one who's getting gay over Britney being there, and I am not gay. I am normal, and hot dog are normal and good and uh i'll call you back bye uh, he did miss the i love you goodbye that the call the he caller did. ended with he did yes <laughs> oh boy i i do tell i want to isolate this britney bitch from ian's call because that's gonna that's gonna be a drop <laughs> going forward that's gonna be a drop yeah, yeah. so thank you very much Team Ian. Team Ian. Friend for, of the show. Yes. Multi, multi-time guest of the show. Yes. Uh, good times. Yeah. I think a, a wonderful interpretation of this caller's voicemail. <laughs> I think he really got to the motivations and the, uh, the the heartfelt emotion behind what was going on that maybe the caller doesn't even know. So listen, caller, just last thing, last word. Sorry. I'm straight. Uh, I, I encourage you to to explore whatever you need to explore, um, but you're most certainly not getting to us. You just created an opportunity for us to make some content Aha! with Brittany. <laughs> yes. So hopefully, hopefully you guys <laughs> enjoyed listening to this and getting a little taste of what we're talking about when we talk about the hateful messages that we get. If you two would like to call, sound off in this manner or any other. 657-464-7609. Of course, you can email a voice memo from your smartphone to idoubtit at dollamore.com.